Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is Chuck from the Two Old Farts, and this is Lou, the better looking of the Two Old Farts. I already <sighs> told you that lady. What lady? Long tab. Long tab what? Brewery. Okay, well, Brewery people don't know what long tab is. Brunch for all you hippies. Hippies. Right. And when I ask her, why would you ask her? We're talking about the Two Old Farts. We I'm weren't. We weren't and talking. Are her. you? Hang on. Are you French? Are you French or do you just have a mouse in your pocket? I got both. You say we, like we, we, monsieur. Yeah, see. We weren't talking yes, about anything. Are. No, we weren't. You were, you, were. you were talking and embarrassing me. <laughs> How could I do that? Because you're you. <laughs> that what makes it too old for us. And she, did she come back and ask well, no, when we were going to be on? Yes, she did ask what time we were going to be on. But and we told her. About, about now. Yeah. And but we're, we're to, but we're not live. We're going to record it and then publish it. Yeah, and then we're going to talk about it. But she lied to you because she didn't want to hurt your feelings because you're old. No, she did. Yes, she did. She just liked me. She did. She just liked me. No, she doesn't. Yes, she did. No, nobody likes. Because she knew I was paying. <laughs> oh, the guy well, who pays always gets liked. That well, by the people that he's <laughs> feeding and, and giving drinks to. Yeah. But it was good. Huh? It, it was. So again, we're the two old farts. We are out and about, and today we were out and about where again? At the Long Tar, Long Tab. <laughs> long Tab. Why is it Long Tab? Because you told me it was a Long Tab. Yes. Yeah. So, so Long Tab, for those of you who don't know, is a like a nickname for the Special Forces tab that goes on top of their Special Forces unit patch. The Ranger the, Special Forces. Are, well, they're not the same. Yeah, well, if they were the same, then it would be the same name. But yeah. Rangers are Rangers and Special Forces are Special yeah, Forces. The tab goes either, well, the Special Forces goes on top. If you're Ranger, it goes underneath. And the unit, if you're in Special Forces, in a Special Forces unit, your unit patch has an airborne tab. A little bit of history. <sighs> that was exhausting. Just like doing anything with you, old man. <laughs> That's what makes it fun. But she still liked me. That makes it three to oh. Maybe. But what's even more exhausting is like anything we try to do, people. <laughs> anything we try to do. Hey dad, let's let's go out tomorrow. We'll we'll go have um a beer and some and some food someplace. He's like, Okay, where are we gonna go? I'm like, I don't know, Dad. I'll tell you, I'll send you a link to where we're going and I'll let you know the time. Right. He's like, Okay, got it. So I sent him an email with the menu, the type of beer, and he's like, What time? I said 12 o'clock. Got it. So I get here at 10 till 12. I'm just coming down the street right here. You see the other side of uh, this window right here where I'm pointing? That's where I was coming from. And as I pull up to the house, there's no car in the driveway. Well, why was there no car in the driveway, Dad? I, my last one to you said, I'll see you at 12. Right. Yeah. But we didn't say where, didn't though. Say here. We didn't say where, did we? No, we didn't. We did not say where. So no. guess what? I was here. At 10 till 12, and guess where my dad was? Not here. He was on his way to the Long Tab Brewery. <laughs> and then to make it even worse, I put it in my GPS because I had an idea. I wasn't sure which side of Bandera was on, but I knew it was on Bandera Road. Well, that's a big side of yeah. Bandera to be on. So it routes me down 151 to 410 back to Bandera. Yeah, you went the long way around the yeah, bar. Yeah, it was. But at first, you thought it was on the 1604 side of Bandera, yeah. not the four, Loop 410 side of Bandera. So if you're from San Antonio, you know what we're talking about. For those of you who don't, there are two concentric rings around San Antonio. The first one, the inside is Loop 410, and then outside of that is Loop 1604. Yeah. And that's a big gap in between those two loops. Yeah. But anyway, I got that before you did. Well, you left before I did. Well, because I was trying to be here at 12, and you were trying to be there at 12. But the way I was routed, you had a shorter way. Yeah, because I went down the smart way. I went down Calabria to Bandera Road and went straight there to it. So, But it was a good time. It's a great venue to go to. I really recommend all of our veteran friends and all of our other friends. Do we have friends? Maybe one or two. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you have probably one I do. Uh, no, I, like I don't. My, your mom is my friend, but I'm not sure sometimes. No, I, don't, I do not have friends. So, yeah, today we were at the Long Tab Brewery and Company. It's a veteran-owned brewery and pub. Uh, and she said, what, they've been open a couple of years now? Just, yes, like just before COVID, they opened up. 
And they had a fairly good little crowd there for Bradshaw. Yeah, they did. Really, really did. Yeah. Um, Food was really great. Yes, it was. That was some, like I said, well, like I said, no, I didn't because I, we tried to record this once and then we lost the internet. So we had to record it yeah. again. So I'm repeating myself and we're repeating ourselves for the second time because again, we're the two old farts and nothing goes That's easy. What we do. <laughs> we screw That's things what we up do. whether we That's want to or not. Technology fails us. We fail to tell each other what we're going to do or more specifically where we're going to meet up. Well, that's because I'm 78 and you're 22. You're supposed to be telling me where we're going that's to be going. That's mi 78 minus 22. That makes me 56. <laughs> so Long Tab is a veteran-owned brewery in San Antonio, which honors the history, the culture, and the veterans of the U.S. Army Special Forces or the Green Berets. And Long Tab gives back to the SF veteran community through uh, beer dedications and fundraisers. And then uh, so if you go to their website, which is gtabbrewing.com, dot com uh, they have swag that you can buy they got really good beers yeah. i had uh the jfk uh lager and you had let me look it up let's look and see what we had I, uh hang on i can't you can't remember what you had you had the long tab lager it's yeah. an american lager a cream a clear crisp pale light bodied and refreshing ale with low hop bitterness and light malt sweetness. And I threw that lady a curb, right? It's tilted with our namesake, Long Tab, created to be enjoyed in the backyard or the river with family and friends. The patriotic label pulls from the World War II era roundels seen on military vehicles and aircraft. And yes, you did throw her a curveball. She, he asked. <laughs> People, you don't know this man. He only eats four or five things and only drinks the same uh -huh. kind of beer. And so he goes, is this like a Shiner Bach? So Shiner Bach, it's a Bach beer. This is a lager. So Bach and a lager ain't the same kind of beer, Dad. So what did she say? She said, I don't know. I don't think they're anything alike. <laughs> then she she said, was trying to be I polite. Think better. So That's that right. automatically set the stage for later on when you said, so who's the better looking of the two? Of That's course, right. she's going to take pity on you. That, no, that's what it was. Right. It was pity. So I had the JFK Munich Helles Lager, which is a pale, gold, clear, medium-bodied lager with a hint of honey sweetness and a clean finish. And Named in honor of JFK, who was the staunch supporter of the U.S. Army Special Forces. And what, what was it that we got to bring home that we're going to share? Well, we're not going to drink it now. No, no. But we're going to. Oh, it's the... Uh, what was it? Was it Pineland Underground? No, it was. It was. It's Pineland something. Anyway, it's a. It's one of their. It's a wee heavy, and it's like eight percent alcohol, which is really high alcohol content, but it's really sweet tasting. That's it's right. really good. A really good taste for it. Really excellent taste. But it was a great experience. Oh, there it is. It's the Pineland Resistance. It's yeah. a Scottish wee heavy, eight percent alcohol by volume. People, eight percent. It's a dark, amber, medium-bodied ale with notes of toffee, biscuit dough, vanilla, and caramel. I told mom yeah. it tasted like caramel. Named after the Pineland Resistance Force, or the PRF, Pineland is the fictitious country that is part of the unconventional warfare training for Special Forces students. Uh, that's done during their exercise, mm -hmm. Robin Sage. The color and the bear claw on the label are inspired by the R, the PRF flag. But it's a great venue, very friendly people. Yes. Uh, great food, great beer. You really got to go try it uh, if you're in San Antonio. Or if you come into San Antonio and you look for, for some places to go, we talk about a few of those every now and then. And we need to start going to more places. Yes, we do. Because uh, that's what we're out and about. We're supposed to be doing. But it's been too hot this summer. There's been just a lot of things going on. But it's starting to cool off a little bit now so we can start getting out and doing some things again. Go some places. So guess what? Get back up to the hill country and some of those places. Yes. So we are finally at 240 all-time downloads. I was hoping we'd get to 250, but that's what happens when you don't do any episodes for yeah. a couple of weeks. So 240 episodes. Over the last month, guess what? We picked up two from Belgium. Wow. And they had a lot of Belgian-style beers on their menu. So, hey, Belgium, come to San Antonio. Go to Long Tab Brewery, and you can get Belgian-style beer 
here in America. Yeah, they just, what, 13th or 23rd of August, they had a... The, the Belgian Beer Fest. Yeah. And we got a October Fest coming up. Coming up at the end of September, yeah. yep. So in the last 30 days or so, we've had four people from California listen, four from Texas, two from New Jersey, one from Florida, one from Kentucky, one from Montana, one from Wisconsin, and two from unknown. Oh, wow. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know, unable to identify the geographic location. That must be friends of mine. They're unknown. <laughs> yeah, they're from out in the country. But that's from 1 August to 21 August. Yeah, that's pretty good. So in the last three months, in the last three months, we've had a hunt in the last three months, 106 from here in America, 10 from the UK, two from Brazil. Wow. Brazil, South America. Yeah. Can you believe that? Two from Canada, two from Ireland. That is, that is awesome, Dad. We are truly becoming international. All we need is from the Pacific area, maybe Australia or Japan or Korea or Indonesia or something like I that. Thought, that yeah, I thought we had some. No, no we haven't under, we got that. No. California is as far. We haven't even gotten Hawaii yet. But that's pretty dang good, man. So in the last three months, 37 from Texas, 13 from Virginia, 11 from Illinois, 8 from Montana, 7 from California, 6 from New Jersey, 3 from Florida, 3 from Tennessee, Two from Colorado, two from Michigan, one from Louisiana, one from uh, North Carolina, one from South Carolina, and, and again, those unknowns. We've got 11 of them. And we don't have any roll tides in there? No, sir. None from Alabama. Oh, man. None from Georgia. So where is Aunt Caroline listening? Oh, she's Florida. She's from in Florida now, isn't she? No, she's still in Georgia, but she goes to Florida. So then I'm beginning to suspect where is she listening to us because I don't see Georgia on the list. Well, when I talk to her, I'm going to find out. Because... Last maybe time I maybe to she's one of those unknowns. Could be. Her and do, her do, new husband Phil. Do you see Georgia on here? Do you yep, see Alabama on her? Yep. And Carolyn, where are you listening from? Because, honey, it ain't showing up here on the app. Yeah. But, hey, thank you all from Belgium, Canada. Um, where in South America did I say? Brazil. Yeah. Brazil. I was so shocked to hear that. Ireland. Thank you all. Thank you all. Please spread the word. If especially um, if, all you folks from Belgium. Yes. Where is your mom from? Her her grandfather, grandfather and great grandfather immigrated from Belgium, Belgium to yeah. America, and they started off in Pennsylvania as uh, coal miners. Coal I think. miners, right? Yeah. So got a little got got a little bit of the Belgian in there on little, my side. Yeah. Got a little ties in there and stuff. So. Yep. Uh, Ireland. We got Irish in our blood. Yep. A lot of English, a lot of Irish, a lot of Scottish. So, Scotland, you need to represent people. Give us a listen. Yes, I. But, bring, up, bring up blood around. Yeah, but tell us what you like about the show. Tell us what you don't like. We want to hear from you. We really do. Yeah, that makes it more fun, makes it interesting, and gives us some ideas of what you want to hear from or you want us to go to see or something. But I'm so, looking forward to this fall, though, getting out a little bit. Except on Saturdays. Can't be doing it on Saturdays. Nope. Got to have Alabama football. Yeah. Got to have the football. Or UTSA football or even Texas State football. Yep. I'm going to tell you, UTSA. Not, not, not a European football. That's soccer. We do American football. That's right. But we do like soccer, too. Yeah. And uh, San Antonio soccer doing good. They are? Yep. They San Antonio FC? Uh-huh. I get my information through Jordan because she works there with the with the soccer team and stuff like that. But they won the other day, so and they played yesterday. I'm not sure how they did yesterday, but uh, every year they're consistently making the playoffs and advancing pretty far and stuff. Okay. Like that, so, but yeah, you can reach us at the two old farts, the number two old farts at outlook dot com or the Two number two old farts, then the number two ten. That's for the area code here in San Antonio. So the two old farts two ten at gmail dot com. So apparently somebody got to us on Gmail, got to Gmail before we did for the two old farts. And we got it on Facebook. Yes, we are on Facebook. The two old farts. Uh, we got our own web page, the two old farts dot com. And maybe that's why uh, Carolyn. Because she, she probably saw it on Facebook or something. And maybe yeah, she might, she might be listening to us on Facebook. Yeah. We but do I, post links. But it's funny getting out and doing these kind of things and getting yelled at by my son with a 
I might just smack him upside his head. You can't reach that far up because I'm taller than you. Yeah, but a two before And I'm wheel. faster than you, That's and right. I'm better looking than you. My dad said to get a two before upside your head. You got to catch me, old man. Well, that would be too hard. It'd be really hard. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you. What? I really enjoyed. Uh, Where were we at today, Dad? The Long Tap Brewery. That was fun. I, I'd never heard of it to begin with, uh, but it's good. And we've got a concert coming up here, what, next Next, uh, next Saturday. Yep. Who are we going to go see, Dad? Jason Bowler and the Strangers? Stragglers. Stragglers. Strangers. Sorry, Jason Bowler. <laughs> hey, so, hey, Jason Bowler, if you're listening, <laughs> we're coming to see you on Saturday. And if you're not, if you are friends with Jason Bowler or some of the Stragglers, not the Stranglers, Please let them know we're coming. <laughs> That's right. And go see them. I, Flores are going to be. It's going to be an indoor show at Flores Country Store. It's going to be packed. So we better get there. And early. if it ain't packed, spread the word so it does get packed. Oh, it'll be packed. I get it to you. I don't know, it's, Dad. It's, with, our, with our tens of tens of followers, I don't know how much, yeah, but how much sway we have it's, on people. It's floors, so. Hey, if you're from Italy, Ireland, Belgium, Canada, come to Floor's Country Store next Saturday right. to see Jason Bolin and the Stragglers. It's going to be a good show. And then while you're in town, go to Long Tab Brewery and have you some beer. That's right. Or go to the Mad Pecker. Yep, or go to the Mad Pecker. But we're not talking about them. We're talking that's about right. Long Tab Brewery that's today. Right. See, that's their competition, Dad. No, not yeah. really. Well, because they're small craft brewers. But, however, come on, man. Stick with the program, you long can, tab. You can do both. You can do both. But I got to tell you. What? It was a, I, I was just blown away with, with the brunch, the meal. It was. The service was great. The people were really friendly. And I, I love the atmosphere. But even the food presentation, it looked beautiful. Yeah, it, it, looked, it made you want to eat the food. It looked good on the plate. And that little, what, uh, what you call it, a little platter she brought, a wooden platter type thing she brought my French toast on? Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty neat. I've never seen it. Yeah, it, it's the obvious, yeah, right? It's because you're an old country boy from Alabama. I know. You put it on a plate. plate <laughs> and how come nobody from Alabama is listening, Dad? I know. We gotta figure That's out. sad. Got to talk to some folks back here. Do the folks that you're going to talk to have the Internet? <laughs> probably not. <laughs> probably don't know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> probably, probably as dumb using it as I am. Lord have mercy. You turn it on, you turn it off, and that's about it. Man, we have had some struggles today. We couldn't get it together to go meet at the right place at the right well, time. That was your fault. No, it's not. I said, I'll see you at 12. You I said, didn't say where to meet. But you always say, we'll meet you there. But I didn't. Yeah. But so you just left it up. Anyway, so we had that mishap right out the gate we started we were in what two minutes in laughing and can joke and then we look at the screen and then it's, it's blank blank and disconnected then when yeah. we tried to reconnect it we had internet outage and i said restart the the internet on the modem and then you went over to the router which well, is not the both. modem you have to do both no you don't have to do both that yeah, you, you only have to do just the one <laughs> and then when i turned because when it did finally boot up, we still weren't connected. So I went back to the modem, turned the modem off, and turned it back on, and you were pointing at the screen. See, it says we're connected. <laughs> yeah, Dad, we're connected to the router, but we ain't going anywhere. But it says we're connected. That's right. That's all that matters. This is what happens, people. This is the shenanigans when two old farts who barely know technology get together, have some beers, eat brunch, and try to do a podcast. And one of them grew up in Alabama going to a little small country school like and that doesn't no even idea. exist anymore. <laughs> it's covered in weeds. <laughs> That's true. The name doesn't even exist. No. Nope. Russell County High School now I moved down the road a little way. Down but it used to be Grand Shavala School. High School. Yep. I don't even know what a Shavala is. Back then, it was a big fertilizer plant that back in there. That's where they got the name from. Okay. Was it some guy's last name, Shavala or something? I have no idea. I just know the name of the fertilizer plant was called Shavala. I have no idea how that. Name came well, you're from there. You should know. But but we had fun. Did you? Yeah. Do you remember? I remember. You sure? Because you're almost 80. You pushed it pretty close. <laughs> I know. You're 78 <laughs> now, old man. I'm right behind you at 56. I know. You had a birthday in July. And you just July. had one earlier this month. And, and my sister had one yesterday. Yeah. 
Then your aunt had one uh, earlier, then your Uncle Michael had one earlier. And one of my granddaughters, she has the same birthday as you, Mm -hmm. Lydia. Yeah. And they're coming to see us on a Labor Day weekend. Oh, good. I didn't know that. Well, now you do. Now I do. (laughs) I guess that's what happens when you don't read your emails or... Well, maybe I didn't email you. (laughs) Maybe I forgot. (laughs) But anyway, see what I had to put up with? You talk about me. Yeah. Out of sight, out of mind. That's the way life is sometimes. But you know what? Phones work two ways the last time I checked. You can call me just like I can call you. I can? Yeah. And guess what? The miracle of the modern internet. You got the internet right here. You can email me. Where is your phone? It's over there. Out of sight. Yeah, it is. Got turned there. off. Why? So it won't interfere. Only thing that interferes with this podcast besides you <laughs> is your hearing aids. <laughs> That's true. And half the time they don't work. You forget to turn them on or turn them off, whatever. The yeah. operative word being you forget. Yeah. But that's what makes life interesting and aggravating. Yeah. And then go out and do things you're not supposed to do because you don't talk to your wife first or. You, you don't agree with her and hire somebody to do a fence. At- yeah, I'm getting ready to get uh, getting ready to get a fence put up in my backyard. So she's not yeah. too happy about that guy, right? No, she isn't. But quality of the work's not bad. No, it's it, not. It's but he summer. just he nickel and dimed you on the on the trash away yeah. and some of the other little things. Yeah. But live and learn, right? That's right. Probably do the same thing again next time. So that again, that's another reason for y'all to reach out and let us know. Tell us some of your tales of woe and so we can share this on the Absolutely. internet. And maybe we go look into them and find out something. Not that we can do fun. anything about it. But we can make it fun. Though. We can, talk we can about make fun it. of them. Yeah. Talk about them like a dog. To our tens and tens of followers. <laughs> <laughs> at least 200 people over here, right? Well, at least 240 <laughs> times this has been downloaded. One person could have done it 240 times or 240 people could have done it just one time. Maybe that's what I need to do. What? It, I don't know if it counts. If, if you went and listened to all the episodes, would it count? E- yeah, I guess it would count as a download. I would think hey, so. that would get our numbers up. Let's yeah, cheat. There you go. You download them, I'll download them, and we'll get our numbers up. And then we might have more than tens of, we might have dozens of dozens. Maybe maybe we're lucky we get you on to listen. <laughs> and, you know, yeah. I don't even think my wife has listened either to a podcast episode. She said, I don't have to listen. I put up with you every day. No, I think Brenda has listened like 10 minutes of one podcast. And that Mackenzie hasn't even listened to a podcast episode. My own daughter, well, one of my daughters has not listened. I don't know if Kaylee has. I'm pretty sure Erica hasn't. Has Tina listened? Uh, no. Has Jordan listened? No. Just that one. That they- People, our own family isn't listening to this podcast. Please, we need your help. This is a plea. <laughs> yeah, tell This is a listen. call to action. Please, yeah. call your congressman. Yeah, call up and chastise him for not Call listening. the National Guard. Tell them to download <laughs> this podcast. We need your help. Oh, wow. Uh, but it's, it's, I'm looking forward to going back to, to floors coming up here pretty soon. Next yeah. one, this Saturday. Weekend. Saturday. Yeah. I don't know who's opening up for him. But hopefully... Sunday, we could do another podcast. We got to get more regular on this stuff. So you got to get more technically savvy on troubleshooting. Oh, by the way, people, before we got started, his camera wasn't working. And he's like, but it's plugged in. I'm like, yeah, I see it's plugged in, but the computer isn't registering that the camera is there. So he turns the camera around, look for an on and off switch, and it ain't one one there. So I unplugged it, plugged it back in, and guess what? It started working. That's right. But you're the technology guy. You're supposed to know all that stuff. You don't have to be hollering at me about it. But it's your technology. No, it's not. This is your microphone, your camera, your computer, your house. Yeah, but that's my technology. It's Al Gore's technology. He invented the <laughs> Internet, remember? <laughs> I just know what off and on. That's about it. That's about all you know. <laughs> you used to be much more savvy. I don't know what happened. Maybe because I've been slapped around so much by you and your mom. I wish I could stop you around. <laughs> Probably mom. Yeah. That, she, that's really sad. Nobody in our whole family, <laughs> besides Aunt Carolyn, has listened to this damn podcast. And and her new husband, uh, they, they liked our last episode. She called, we talked to him, and said, I thought it was 
was pretty funny. Maybe they're just taking pity on you, like everybody probably. else who says you're the good looking of the two old farts. Feel good, right? Maybe. Yeah. So, Aunt, Aunt Carolyn, if you listen, give us a thumbs up. Tell all your friends. Tell Miss Betty. Play it for Miss Betty. Miss Betty is a lady she takes care of. Okay. She just turned ninety something. Ninety something. Yeah. Not a hundred something. No. Yeah. Oh, let me let me let me go back to the I think podcast. she's like ninety five, something like that. But she looks like she's about eighty five. So, this podcast. Let me see here. You can listen to us on Pandora, the Podbean app, uh, and any. Alexa enabled device, Amazon Music Podcast, uh, Chromecast, Deezer, Apple Podcast, Google Chrome, Samsung Podcast, Stitcher, um, Apple, anywhere where fine podcasts are able to be downloaded and yep. shared, you can find us. Yep. Please do give us a call, uh, or a shout out, let us know. We do have a phone. Yeah, it's a Google phone. I don't remember what it is, but we got a phone number. It might be listed on, on Facebook. On Facebook. Uh, yeah, it might be on Facebook. But we do have a phone number. Not sure if we'll answer it, but we have a phone. And we have, like I said, we have a Facebook page. We got a, a web page. Any, any place that has podcasts, you just look for the two old farts and you'll see us. Yep. We're going to be around for a while. I hope so anyway. I hope so too. With our tens and tens of followers. So, hey. We are just past the 25-minute mark. I'm coming up on 27, and because Aunt Carolyn said don't go over 30 minutes, we're trying to keep true to that. And that's the law, right? That's the law, and it works. Yep. Keeps you from being long-winded and hijacking the show talking about Alabama football. Yeah. Second week in September, though, I'm going to tell you. UT. UT, and that's going to be a game. It is, but that's not what this podcast is about. There's other podcasts that talk about that stuff. Right. Still going to be a game. You know what we need to start thinking about? Getting a guest and have them call in. There you go. Maybe that might up our game. Do you know, any, do you know anybody idea. that might want to be on our podcast? Yeah, call that lady back in, the one that voted for me. Maybe. Maybe. We might need to do that. I might go talk to him. Maybe do a podcast there. We can do it on the phone. Right? Yeah, we have enough hard. We have a hard enough time trying to do technology here in our own house. What do you think we're going to do remote on the road? Yeah, they may have better internet or something. Who knows, man? Yeah, this is a disaster waiting to happen. I'm gonna tell you what. You got to go to the long tab. You got to try. You got to check it out. Not only are the the food good, the beer is really great, but the hospitality and the atmosphere of that facility is really great. Yeah, we need to support our veterans. And we need to support our local breweries, restaurants, anything local. You need to do everything Absolutely. local that you can do. And that goes for everywhere you live. And they're hardworking folks who are just trying to make a living. Yep, and they need your help and support. And what you find, most of the time, the people there are just a lot more friendly, and they're, they're more like you in more ways than one. And, and they try a little harder for yep, your business. they sure do. All right, so this has been another episode of the Two Old Farts. I'm Chuck. I'm Lou. And I'm the better looking of the two old farts. 3 0 vote. So that makes me the winner. Nope. Doesn't count. That makes me the winner. What's that song? That makes me the winner. I, I don't know that song. <laughs> All right, everybody. All right. Y'all take care. Love y'all. Love y'all too. Bye. <laughs>